Hi, I'm Craig. Welcome to the Battery Shop. In this video, we're going to show you how to maintain a golf car battery pack. Golf car battery packs come in multiple variations. Most have a nominal voltage of 36 or 48 volts. Batteries come in 6, 8, and 12 volt variations, and most packs are going to contain 4, 6, or 8 batteries for a nominal voltage of that 36 or 48 volts. The cart that we're working with has six batteries for a total voltage of 48 volts. Golf car batteries are different than most other types of batteries in that they require routine maintenance. Charging is required after each use and should be charged to the manufacturer's specifications. And distilled water must be added when the acid level drops below the specified level. Some batteries have single point watering systems like this Trojan setup. Water flows in through this port and flows to each of the vent caps to refill the batteries to the specified level. Other batteries require removal of the vent cap to fill each individual cell to the specified level. Check all cable connections routinely. Ensure connections are tight, clean, and free of corrosion. When runtime decreases, it's best to check that the charging system is fully charging the pack. This can be done by checking the overall battery pack voltage 24 hours after charging has been discontinued. A fully charged 36 volt pack should be at least 37.8 volts. A fully charged 48 volt pack should be at least 50.4 volts. Our pack has a voltage of 50.8 volts, which means that it is fully charged and operating normally. If the pack is lower than these fully charged values, it may be undercharged or one battery is failing. Check the individual voltages of each battery. A 6 volt battery should be at least 6.3 volts when fully charged, and an 8 volt battery should be at least 8.4 volts when fully charged. If one battery is much lower than the rest, this one could be bad and should be further tested with a load tester. When one battery goes bad, the whole pack should be replaced. <laughs> 